Hey everybody, this is Grace. I'm going to talk about what some might see as a bit of a narcissistic histrionic blend of behaviors of a bully. Okay, a bully. Online bully. And, uh, so let me start here. Now, somebody from, say, my age group, you know, some would say generation, but baby boomers is a pretty big generation. And, uh, I'm a younger one. But see, somebody around my age group, in my age group, they have a an expression, I'm not going to name it, but an expression that there's some sort of a reference to it, and um, perhaps, you know, and that made it kind of big during their, you know, say, their young adulthood or their teenage, you know, teenage young adulthood, that time. So they, they know this. Now, at some point, they use it. Through, through their lives and their children who would be adults now you know most likely adults they learned it from them so they have a reference which is their parent or parents okay now say they use that and a young somebody from a younger I'm not picking on any generation but a younger generation hears it hasn't heard it before looks it up and you know just goes I don't like to use Google it I say um, searches online online search and um, finds it and they just read it but they don't get the meaning of it or they don't understand how certain uh, words are pronounced the word is actually spelled one way but pronounced another way okay and they're the, the, the way it's written sounds like one that's per, that is generally pronounced a different way than what it is in this expression okay yeah that can get confusing you know these things happen but somebody in my generation we would know possibly our adult children would know but even younger than that maybe not see that's the point here but say the one in the younger generation is a bully online and has a target you know, a person they target and the person they are, or maybe even more than one, but one of, they uh, hear that from, they, they, you know, search it online, like I said, and they, they take it the wrong, they, they read it wrong because they don't have the reference. So they, they uh, basically try to tell the world this person doesn't even know how to pronounce certain words, okay? <laughs> Somebody in my generation says, uh, you just humiliated yourself, you big bully. <laughs> you totally humiliated yourself. Okay, because people from my generation and possibly our children, adult children, would know. People even older than mine. You know, my age group, I meant. So, now when you point something like this out, you, you can easily humiliate your own self too like I, I have videos I don't know if I've ever made them public about you know when you point out the hypocrisy of this group you know these people and they the other people on the other side and all of it all around yeah people are going to look at you and say hmm I'm gonna watch everything this person does and I'm gonna find one time they do it <laughs> and I'm gonna make it everybody know it okay see what I'm saying yeah so it, it makes it but really what's all behind it is the purpose. You know, what kind of intention, what purpose, what meaning. I and mean, if they're just plain a bully. If that's all they are, is a bully. So, anyway, I saw this recently. And do you think that person um, apologized? Said, oops. Said, oh my goodness, I was wrong. That word wrong. Uh, or just decided, hmm, I'm just going to take it down. <laughs> People call that, I guess, that's what they're referring to. It's call it dirty, uh, dirty de deleting. Yeah. Instead of just saying, yeah, that was wrong. I humiliated myself. And I should learn not to be a bully. But no. Okay, now I was going to separate this out. But I'll, I'll put, it, put it on here. That part wasn't that long. Um, now say somebody from my generation again, their children, their child, adults, you know, these could be 
not generation, but my age group say they're, they can be as much as in their 40s and, you know, let's see, I think the one that I know, the youngest is probably early 20s, somewhere around there. But anyway, um, so their child, so it's their child. You know, the, the person they're bullying is um, my generation's adult child age, okay. Now, um, so another, the second one, okay, I'm going to get this out. I'm still kind of a little sleepy, but the second one, um, is they, um, they say something again, like, like I said, something that my generation, I know my generation was taught. They were taught this certain way, at least I, I know I was, and I have a vague memory of it. I'm not going to even name where I think it came from or what it is but yeah and you know sometimes things are disproven later on or disproven debunked and whatever you know um found out that it's not really true whatever okay but we were taught this way we we don't have any me reason say we don't have any reason to go and look it up and we were taught by an educator you know someone who should have known or it came straight from a textbook and that's what they knew at that time. And then, like I said, later on, could be in decades. It was said, no, that wasn't really true. But that information is online that says it's something else. And is there any of that a credible source? Okay, is it? Or what we were taught way back then. Now, we wouldn't have any reason to look it up none so we just you know and our children heard it from us or maybe they were taught the same thing you know they're adults now and they didn't have any other reason to look it up again uh, but one of these what some would call narcissistic history on it blended behaviors type person that is really just a bully or just the way um it's gonna pounce on it mm -mm, gonna pounce on it and uh say and say you must have gotten that from in a certain say, um, website or something. I don't want to even name any of them. Well, so this person says, I didn't really know, so I looked it up. And they just searched online for it. And they found that as a credible source. I looked it up. And it comes up on the one they were picking on the other person about. <laughs> but they claimed it wasn't. But that was really the only one that showed up. Anyway, so that what they're seeing as a credible source is what they search online and shows up, pops up. I look at them and said, I don't see any of them that would be considered a credible source. I was a career student for over 20 years, what some call a professional student. Yeah. I'm like, no. So pot calling kettle? Yeah. Now, if someone were to say to that person, you just humiliated yourself. You're seeing a credible source. You're, you're pouncing on this other person saying that that person doesn't look stuff up and find a credible source, yet you're just accepting what you search online for and the results pop up. That's your thought of a credible source. Is it mine? You see, because anybody, seriously, I've had actual videos that I have made that if I went and searched for a video, not the whole title, just say a keyword, it would pop up my video. Okay? Now, it can, I've seen it pop up other people I know and that I do not think are right. Okay? Career student. In my, in my fields. Yeah. So, Anybody, pretty much, not everybody. I, I shouldn't even say anybody. I can't stand that thought, but that way of thinking. But somebody can put it up, and then some of them are just social media platforms that people can say whatever. they, they Or are they learning from their own experience? Let me put it this way. Because they're saying this person is putting out misinformation on the Internet, yet they're trusting what they find on the Internet. Looking for confirmation bias, perhaps, even. 
but are they learning from what they say themselves? You know, they're going to debunk, I think is their favorite word, to uh, this, this other people for their misinformation, yet they're finding their information on what I debunk. <laughs> you know, I'm, not, I'm certain I'm not the only one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not going to be the only one. You see? So find, <clears throat> just finding anything online, it can be opinions and they can be wrong. Okay. And they're complaining about the other person saying that they, you know, that they are um, uh, not really experts, but that, you know, the whole thing that I've, this is one of my biggest pet peeves is that they are something that they're not. And uh, like somebody says, there's something that they, you really have to have a, uh, at, le at least maybe even a master's or a PhD in to consider yourself a voice of authority. And that person is claiming it. Some people actually claim they have degrees then when they don't. And I don't think that, mm -mm, I'm not a lawyer, but um, so they are against them, yet they turn around and they say they go search for it and they're not that either. <laughs> you know, so how would they know? You know, that this person doesn't have the credentials and neither do you have the credentials to judge what it is true or not. See? Yeah. And, then, and I'm going to say, having had been a career student, I have seen some things, you know, I believe in finding scholarly work. Okay, not all scholarly work is 100% right. Okay, things do change, like I said. And I look at, say, scholarly journal articles, I've seen some, I'm like, I've never heard of that one. And is it really credible source? And I've also seen some of them are using... Um, the just the um, what would it be? You know, somebody makes up a term, and you know, for a certain kind of narcissist, and they use that. Hmm, don't like that. Yeah. No. Are they? It's, I've seen some actually use as a reference someone who is not educated in that field but makes videos. Uh, I don't like that either. No. No, stick to true science, okay? True science. Not somebody made up <laughs> that has not been tested, has not gone through it. And if you, you can look up some article that's just now made, you know, just now published, how credible is it? Because when I was a student um, in graduate school, they were teaching you know, master's PhD level classes. They were teaching that it takes like 20 years for things to actually work through the through these um, these sciences and be seen as worthy of being put out to the public around 20 years. So something that was just done yesterday, you know, approved, yeah, they have to come against people, come against it, people with uh, no bias, people trying to prove it wrong, tr people trying to prove it right, people who are just trying to see what the results they get, these kinds of things before it's actually considered science true when, when it's considered science but truly tested okay and i'm 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 one i would say mm -mm, you using somebody on the internet as an example no i don't think so that's not yeah because i i actually have watched that person's videos and i said bs career student in those fields <laughs> Okay, you see what I'm saying? And now, me, do I think I know all of it? No. Have you ever read my disclaimers? If it's still in there, because I actually had some stuff deleted from my disclaimers uh, before, like the things I wrote after. You know, there's one of them that pops up automatically, and then, but I write on top of it, you know, for that video, you know, above it, and that those were uh, had disappeared. Don't know. But anyway. I say I could be wrong. Now, do you think the people that are there out there that are the bullies would ever say I could be wrong? Or if I made a mistake, to say I made a mistake. Oh, I'm sure I've made mistakes. I'm not perfect. You know, I don't go intentionally saying that as some have seen do so that they don't have to really watch what they say. They don't have to really know what they're talking about in a way.
And one of the things about it is they are both, both, you know, the, the one that's, like I said, you know, the one that they're trying to disprove or whatever, both of these are trying to act superior. But who actually would be the superior person? If I don't even think in those terms, really. I don't like the whole totem pole. But it would be somebody who is a voice of authority. I'm a voice of authority on that. Well, actually, the, the one I saw, I'm not. Okay, but, but the other stuff I'm talking about that I actually do know, yeah, I'm a voice of authority on that. I did my homework, literally, 20, over 20 years. I can be tested. Studying, tested, studying, tested. This written, that written, gone through all of it. And then... These are fighting over who's more superior, you know. But I don't, I really don't think in those terms. But at the same time, I do. When I hear people saying that they know better than the professionals in whatever field, oh my goodness. Really. I mean, and I've seen so many of these past, over my lifetime, okay. I've already said that before. Over my lifetime, freaking people who do this, and they are not credible sources. Now, I'm not a credible source on everything, of course not. You know, but I know what I know. You know? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's just, it's getting to me. It really is. When I see so much of this, and then I see them humiliate themselves. I've humiliated myself. Okay, so I've done that. I, I said, whoops. Yeah, I really did. But, and I could have done it. So in this video, I would say, oh, okay, yeah, maybe I did. Or not maybe, but I did. But to see them trying to humiliate, trying to bully, and I, I actually think this is the same person, but on, but on one of them is there's no voice um, to it. They don't use their voice. I think it's the same person because of the um, one of the things I did study is language uses, usage, and uh, I spent a good time on that. <laughs> but uh, they use the same. I'm not gonna call it that word, but. Um, Huh. Same kind of catchphrases. And yes, different people can use the same kind of catchphrases. People from my generation and so forth. You know, but it's just their same kind of style. Their same kind of what they want to focus on. And part of it is to try to humiliate, bully, that's bullying, humiliate the other person. Their agenda. Yeah. So I think it's the same person on both. But humiliating themselves, you know, her, herself, himself. I've seen it more than one, by the way. But yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Anyway, um, so you have to think, what, are, what, are, what's going on out there? And how, I mean, like what I said that about people who are doing scholarly journal articles. Are using people they see online as, re as references this really worries me okay because what you can see if you're not learned enough if I mean educated enough if you haven't really gotten deep into it and then you can see that oh that person isn't a true scholar in this that person has just stated they are repeatedly gained popularity but they're full of BS. If you haven't reached that yet, yet you're using that person as a reference because of their popular popularity, it seems. Because anything else, if you would really know, you would say, no, this is wrong. So I should not use it. There's nothing else there. In my opinion, and I could be wrong. Talk to y'all another video. Bye.